Hello everybody. So another video today, last one, is a little bit uh, comparing video between uh, among three knives. And uh, you seen today, if you check my videos, top silent hero, zero tolerance, 100. And my the oldest, I would 20 years, guys, this knife, 20 years. Original SOG Trident knife made in see that Seki Japan seven millimeter thick blade seven not like five and a half today seven this is thickest blade I I have even my Bark River uh, tracker don't have that thick blade it is i think 6.7 millimeters this is really seven millimeters seven zero so uh, i my, my sheep from that was braid so i made this one just just uh, as a as a kydex but you know it is it is insert to the to the zero tolerance uh, tactical sheet so as i said it looks like that the in, uh, kydex insert for the zero or one hundred it looks similar like this one just this is made for for that, this knife so i will put it there i will screw it and screw it there and i got a i got a knife there steel knife is sharp sharp as hell as, as we are talking you know about the steels why why i choose why i choose these these knives all of them are similar size you know all of them are in similar size of course silent hero is the biggest trident is the second and zero tolerance i will call it only zero tolerance please pardon me i will not i will not say again zero tolerance or oh, 100 i got just one here so everybody understand zero tolerance is the smallest but all of them uh, are meant to be all purpose knife i said some kind of tactical fighting but field knife also all of them so this is this is the oldest model this is like a uh, copy for for sog commandos some commando kind uh, units uh, i think in vietnam war so they they made this one there was limited edition so this is another one um, this is made like a copy of it but this is really great uh, so that's why i chose these three knife I, I i got them because i like the choils here is the choil actually i didn't expect the choil here but it is here and of course the choil is here point of balance is somewhere where the when the white line here is near where where the choil is a little bit more If I can say like this one, the silent hero from all of them is the, the most of heavy blade, but we are still talking about somewhere here. The, the point of balance is somewhere here. Uh, and uh, uh, zero tolerance is more like uh, handle heavy. The point of balance is going more to the heavy side, to, to the handle side, some, somewhere here. So similar pr purpose of these knives similar size similar weight uh, interesting is when I bought this knife before the 20 years this one was the heaviest knife I've ever seen I think 267 grams I, I'm not sure I didn't put it on scale now but yeah, that was bloody hell you know I, in that times I never seen that heavy knife I mean of course in this size about the size this is 16 centimeters blade so similar like silent here is 16 and a half and this one was a little bit longer 16 more, maybe it was 16 and a half also i mean from from, from the from the handle but uh, i broke the tip because i throw the knife and i did 
so many bad things with the knife and it is still alive that's why I love it I really trust the knife so it was the needle needle sharp point so I used uh, I used to throwing to the, I used to throw to the to the uh, uh, like um, I think it was old, old boards, so very hard boards, and sometimes one way the, the knife stick and just the tip broke. But it was needle sharp. To be honest, you can't put the, your put the, the tip on your finger because it will go through. It will really stuck to your <laughs> stuck to your finger. Really, it wasn't. It isn't joking. It's seriously. So now it is not that sharp, but it's sharp enough to do anything. And from that from the time, never happens anything wrong with the knife. So so it's great. Back to the steels. I, I started it before. 1095. So definitely steel which can rust. CPM 3V, which is I think a bit a uh, bit. Uh, Corrosion resisting better than 1095 definitely so they but they got coating and we got here a US 8 steel uh, Now people are saying something you know wow a US 8 that's crap You know everything's evolving and when I bought this uh, sock, sock knife uh, There wasn't better steel it was super steel in that time yeah, you know, so we need to go back in that maybe you know today. Okay, we got we are going to space before time we can't but so we need to be we need to be a little bit, you know kind to the to the evolution because we don't know We got CPN 3d today or we are we, we like the steel so many people say it's great steel better than Everything else after 10 years. It will maybe crap, you know, so but and that's important is still perform great because we are still using the knife most time for wood processing and wood is basically still the same in hardness you know what i mean so there is not not really point for doing something wrong about that so it was a usa it was uh, super steel now it is average steel nothing nothing special but it is uh, eight millimeter thick which stands something and it really performed I got it 20 years of using so I throw with the knife I climb with the knife I did bloody hell things with the knife and it is still alive well that's that means something and uh, another thing it is of course practically rust resistant which tells us something also you know you need to go to some some forest or to an area where it's really wet or whatever this AUS8 can in the end perform better than all of these and another thing is we got here a couple of different grinds full fat grind or oh, oh, sorry flat grind so saber grind but this is this is flat this is like kind of especially here it's kind of flat to to convex especially here this is convex I, I did it for myself so it is convex but here is it is flat and and then go to, to convex and this guys is is the whole grind this is whole grind just a bit but you can feel it it is whole grind so uh, the knife can perform to be honest I don't understand why why I didn't do why people don't buy this SOG bobies they make it now they're making them from AUS 8 and from SK5 I think uh, leather with leather and and this kind of a handle I don't know what is it it's, it is some I don't know plastic some hard plastic I, I, I really don't know but it is it is really really hard and um, uh, I saw just one video some guy used used the, using this one as use it as a, as a you know hunting knife even survival knife and it really didn't perform well so it was good enough to do what you need but this this is a really excellent knife i did so many things you can trust me i i really split i had log like this one just it was high like this but the, the, in diameter it was like this <laughs> it was joking I did it exactly here on this place so it was really funny before many many years I said oh, I'll try to split it I just use this swing just swing like this one I, I, I chop it in twins 
and, and it, it wasn't some you know damaged wood i mean old one it was straight normal wood so it was very funny but what i want to say the knife can perform much better than it looks so i don't know guy who, who used that knife it was maybe even that sharp as, as it used to be normally if someone needs to care about it i don't know but the knife can perform really good what i what i don't like on this knife which i i, I prefer for the chopping things is to have some kind of hook like this like here is or like, like here is which you hold your your uh, hand back on the other hand if you throw the knife as i said before you need i think if you, you if you know how to learn your 200 percent you need to know how to throw the knife you know this is knife it can be thrown that's that's thing we we will not uh, have a discussion about it because this is reality somebody can throw the knife to you well what about i throw the knife if i am 100 percent sure you know blah 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 it can solve situation even if forehand also but i'm not saying do it all the time so it is simply option and if you hold this one and if you if you release it from from your hand it just goes easy easy no 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 some some problem here and that's that's advantage of this handle this handle of course is is pretty much short you can see the shape is not not that much here it's a little bit thinner here but it's just just you know kind of this shape and that's it that usually i cover it with with the belt you know, i like it because it is not that sweaty you know this is really if, if you got really sweat hands it you can be in trouble yeah but that's i always cover it with, with some with some tape so then you have no problems i made the record throwing rep record with the knife trust me guys for 11 meters i stick my target a couple of times following 11 meters is i if i measure it properly is more than 11 11 uh 11 yard I, I hope so maybe, maybe i'm wrong but i think the yard is a little bit less than one meter so it is 11 point say 34 or 4 uh one. so i did it this is my record with the knife so this is really excellent it can stand it you know another we are talking about quality the knife can stand it so this is really good okay go to go to some uh bit competition you didn't see uh, you, you see how perform this one if you seen previous videos about tops about this zero tolerance uh, you didn't see how this knife can perform so just uh, to be equal just to be equal so the limbing of a tree Small one are easy. The bigger one needs to be chopped off. So this is it. Now I will set the camera. Moment. Some chopping with without lashing again. I need to do reposition some but have a look you know using the finger choil oh sorry I will fix this one Uh, 
uh, of course I like the hammer pommel here, the steel pommel. I can really break something if I need it. Well, that was the performance. Uh, compare, if you've seen the, the videos before, as I said, I left the widest piece of wood for this knife splitting because this is 7 mm thick. So I hope it can it can stand it. Piece of cake. This is the widest piece of that oak wood for splitting. I left it for this one because this is my most of most of trusted knife. I see the knot. I'll try. We'll see what what's gonna happen. Is going around. It is going going around, and the blade is going out from the wood. So I try to reposition it. went around so this is this one was the hardest part for splitting you know nice straight edge nothing else nothing wrong with the knife so now you see you saw the performance and uh, I will do some I will do some notching some notching here Nice and deep, not notch. So now a little comparing why I did it. Now you see, if you seen my old old videos today's, I mean about the knives, uh, how these knife knives can perform on the same piece of piece of uh, wood. You know, what is it? What is it different? So we spoke about the steel. We spoke about uh, about the grind, but there is something else again. One more thing is the shape of the blade of Silent Hero is a little bit back to the spine. You see that? Zero tolerance, of course, is recurved, and uh, uh, SLG Trident is, you know, it, it isn't straightforward it is a little bit higher but just 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 a bit you know so we've got interesting is we've got three knives with similar purpose you can use it you can handle them all of them in similar way they are similar size similar weight I said this SOG is 267 grams I think uh, the there is 300 something grams 315 or, or like that is that silent hero and 328 I think it was the zero tolerance so there there is 60 grams between the the, the lightest and the heavy, heaviest uh, but um, you know it it will not break you know this competition really much so same purpose but similar different steel different shape 
a different different grind so you can see maybe it will help you to you think about the bite knife what will be good for you so try silent heroes just slice through that one was one one slice I'll do so G now this one so let's have a look we got same piece of wood silent hero if I can say it in this way will lose if if I will say it in this way then SOG is this, this is probably the hollow grind work and then the, the second place got this uh, zero tolerance because of the recurve which which bite deep I was interesting to see I never did it with these knives together all together so it's interesting so let's try it again sorry I'll just let's try it again Hold, holding on this one so yeah it bites more when I slicing it bites more on this side you know it the slices went from this side to, to here SOG again I'm trying to use same power so we are nearly there so now you can see twice same same result so silent hero even is very great slicer well didn't cut through this is small soft branch cut it before one hour so uh, soft it is not not soft I mean the wood is hard but but it is you know a small one you know you know what I mean is it's not that, that hard then hollow grind SOG slides really really in and uh, zero tolerance because I think because the recurve you see that see that shape it is like in then like wave and it did the, the belly of the knife so for the slicing definitely the silent hero is losing even if even this this is the thinnest blade I mean I mean the, the, the smoothness of, of the blade well let's go for shopping We got a small, these small parts. So silent hero. Zero tolerance. See, I'm not using that much effort. Then silent hero is is winning here, of course because of length and weight and smoothness. Ah, I'm I'm here, so I'm, I'll, I'll go a little back. SOG so it's hard to say now silent hero is this is this is the silent hero and this is SOG I think but this is this is thicker part silent hero will more excel here probably in these small you know things you know this is just about the, how the blade perform of course I can have bigger material you know I, I, I do have it here so we'll see but uh, it, you know what I mean so there, there is there is uh, each of the blade and shape can perform better in different ways in different tasks I mean so same same wood same piece of wood we will try I'll destroy put, put out this this one so I will try to do to do I'll try to do a tip again so count with me one two three four there's not five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, 23, 24, 25. About, you know, 25. Great. Zero tolerance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, say. so 31. I put the knot here and this is a little bit thinner than before. It's OG. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three. So I can say because this is a little bit thinner. This is this could be more equal to the silent hero. So this knife is much more lighter and the grind, you know, this is here it is still seven seven millimeters thick. And here here is the four point seven. You see the different you know the grind I mean what what the grind can do. This is seven millimeter and it can perform is a slicer same as this knife, which is now not in halfway but it is you know, somewhere, somewhere there. You know, I mean, in thickness, 4.7 millimeters. So, and a smooth blade. So that's that's interesting. For the chopping of the of the green, but uh, bigger. This one can perform. You know, nicely. You can hold it. This is green wood. One, I'll try it. Oh. So, so I'll say three swings. He's breaking the wood along. So two swings. So because the length. And a little bit, fo little, little bit forward edge is working great. So last thing what I want to do here, because you've seen now, you've seen uh, slicing, chopping, uh, notching, batoning. Now I will do a little bit more. This is the last thing we will chop. Chop off. This is this. I, I, I chose this piece of wood, which is, you know, I hope it can be. Like similar. So this could be similar. Let's start with Silent Hero. 1095. This is saber grind. A high saber grind. And 1095 as I said. I'll try to do it here. There's not much. No, there is no knot in in the way. So I'll try to do it. I will use the maximum angle friendly for the knife. And uh, what knife? What what the knife can can chop? Firstly and second, how it uh, how we hold it. This was seven swings, if I can remember. About you can count it there.
so 43 swings if i if i'm counting properly 43 swings but you know there's nothing wrong you know 43 42 and so this is hardwood you know this is hardwood and about two inches wide so good enough for for that that size of knife this is knife not machete or an axe so 43 silent hero zero tolerance we do the same there is some knot i don't care So I'm on 43 now. One hundred and eighteen. One hundred and eighteen. So now uh, you can see how the short blade and blade uh, handle heavy a knife can be uh, like back if we are chopping. But you know, it, it is not exactly equal. You know, these knives are not the same one. You know what I mean. So the, here is more uh, chopping ability. You can feel it. Can feel the motion how it won't go forward this one just 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 a bit because the point of, of balance is somewhere here so you, you somewhere here so you, you are really just behind the point of balance so the swing is not that that strong now SOG Hundred and nine, as I can, as I'm counting properly. So hundred and nine. So uh, some some final conclusion. It is it is not meant to be a, a real contest, you know. It is more. I, I didn't see so many videos videos which can show you these that that different kind of knives. Uh, I mean, because the shape and because the because the steel and whatever, all of these things are. So we got three knives with similar purpose to use and from different steel, different kind. Uh, the SOG is the lightest one, 60 grams less, which you know, keeping this, this knife back in the chopping. 
but because the because the thickness it is very durable as you can see uh, on the on the splitting so this knife is really trustful for the knives uh, the bowies or tridents which they are making now five five and a half millimeter thick it is same thickness as bravo bravo series you know bravo one 125 from bark river this is five and a half so this same similar thickness but this is the, the hollow grind uh, you know someone say okay you you really need to sharpen more times especially AUSA then uh, I, I don't know it's I think is is holding edge great not not great as a CPN 3V but this is different kind of story you know so I, I like all of these these knives you can see maybe it will help to you what what each of these shape can do so we need to think about this is the nearly heaviest but it's not not the heaviest but it's longest and the more uh, blade heavy knife so as a chopper this is the best best way best best knife <laughs> even if this is 1095 you know I spoke about it in the my video about this knife uh, this is the shortest one is it is the heaviest one but the shortest one because the, because the point of balance here for the chopping is not the the best blade definitely but as a fighting slicing knife so this is this is best this is best slicer because the hollow grind but this is the second best slicer because the because the the recurve that's the point why I like recurve. This is a little bit cheating. This is this is slicing better than this one. I mean for slashers is slice more slashing slash movements. So if if the grind if the grind will be same here as here, I mean the smoothness, this one will perform in the easy task better than this one that's no doubt about it because the recurve you know so uh, but but it is great it's sec second position when the, for the for the slicing and and you know the easy task and uh, for the for the everything you can imagine for the for the slicing cutting this is excellent this is still excellent knife even seven millimeter thick it can perform better than these two for that because the grind because the hollow grind uh, for the for the chopping um, you know this really go to the to the zero tolerance but we need to say this is much more lighter knife 60 grams three ounces is something is different between these knives so if, if there the weight will be somewhere somewhere here and you can use it just when you move your back your hand back on the handle you get, you will have more weight on the blade then it will definitely perform better so it is it is chopping better than the, than this one but this is longer but uh, this is much more heavier and because the shape you know you're chopping especially uh, the chopping part is here so not not that far heavily so this is about f four and a half inches from from your hand so not 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 that really this is when you're chopping you can chop see that you can chop in here you can chop chop on this part so three different knives with same purpose different steel different angles uh, different length different different blade shape can you, you so what what the knives can do I hope it will help you if you think about to buy a knife if you want to ask something you know if you want to perform something else with these knives you know want to see something else I, I don't did today uh, just let me know I'll try I hope so I will see guys uh, thank for your time have a nice time see you next time bye